March 7th, 2015. Um, here's a quote from Robert Morey. I told you this was coming for over 20 years. People called me crazy. Now I am sad to say I told you so. As soon as we bomb the Kaaba and reduce it to a hole in the ground, millions of lives and billions of money will be saved. Without that old pagan temple to pray toward and make a pilgrimage to, Islam will collapse. Terrorism will be cut off the roots. End quote. And what had happened, for those of you who want the whole story, and I guess we do need the whole story here because people are contacting Rich and saying, what are you going to do with the debate? Oh, 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 this is exciting. Wow. Um... Here's what happened. I, I went to a church in Houston a number of years ago. And I gave a presentation on Islam. And afterwards, a man asked me, he said, what do you, th-? I was listening to a guy lecturing on, and he didn't tell me who it was. He says, I was, I was listening to a guy lecturing on Islam. And he said that the best way to deal with Islam would be to nuke the Kaaba. What do you think about that? And I just stared at him. And I went, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And it's funny, as we were, as we were, my wife and I, climbed one uh, of the local mountains here um, this morning. And as we were driving, I was telling her about this situation. And I, I told her, well, this is what he said. And, and she said, she said, well, that's silly. I can't imagine anything that would unite the world's Muslims more than, than something like that. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> common sense coming from the wife. Yes, you're exactly right. And, you know, most people just, just recognize, I'm, I'm, not even, I'm not even addressing the abjectly anti-Christian attitude of doing such a thing. I mean, if you're a Christian and think you should nuke the religious sites of other people as a way of promoting the gospel, you are nuts, okay? You are crazy. Okay, that is not Christian. You, you don't know what Christianity is. You need to go back to 101 if you think that's Christianity. That's not how you promote the gospel. Not with weapons of mass destruction, but weapons of mass instruction. Hello? So when this guy asked me this question in the Sunday school class, I'm just, I normally don't respond by saying that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life, but that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And so that's how I responded. Well, I went back to the same church a second time years later. And for some reason, the guy asked me the same question again. And so when I came back on the air, I pointed out, well, while we were doing the dividing line live, I said, does, does anybody know who this is? Who is saying this? And if I recall correctly, I could be wrong, but I thought it was Turretin fan and channel that pulled up the URL to Bob Morey's website, where Bob Morey was the one saying, nuke the Kaaba. And I was like, because, look, I had interactions with Bob Morey long ago that just made me stay at arm's length. Stay at arm's length. Um, and. It's funny, before I debated Shabir Ali in 2006 at Biola, he said to some friends of mine, oh, I'm not coming to the debate because all James does is just repeat my arguments against Islam anyways. I didn't know his arguments against Islam because I didn't consider him a worthwhile enough source to even look at him. I've not read his books on Islam. I, I just, I, I heard his moon god presentation. What year was that? Oh, it was way way back oh what year was that was that 90 it was a long time ago it was in Phil. i remember it was in philadelphia because i went from philadelphia i drove down uh, drove up to harrisburg where i used to live and and did some stuff there while i was going somewhere else oh i was going either i was going from new england down to philadelphia and stopped there or the other direction i forget which one it was but anyways it was it was a long time ago so i did hear uh, his presentation, but it was long before I had any interest in, in Islam and doing anything along those lines. Um, but as far as, you know, j just saying, oh, he just repeats my arguments. Uh, no, I, he's not been an influence upon me at all in, 
in my studies of Islam at all. Um, maybe that's why I didn't recognize the vitriol of the nuke the Kaaba comment and make the connection. I just didn't. So I said on the air once it was once we we brought it up and I'm sitting there looking at it and says yep there there there, there it is uh, there's there's the quote uh, and I said I, you know Bob Morey's written some good stuff but that is just the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life I I mean on just on a political basic level it is so plainly obvious to anyone who has their eyes open that if do you want to erase the distinctions between Sunni and Shia. Uh, between all the infighting and everything else amongst the Muslims and unite them into one huge angry army, then do that. <laughs> Guess it's like, Rrr. what's more is just, just simply on a real basic level, the, the fact of the matter is the fifth pillar can't be fulfilled any longer anyways. If you just run the numbers, there are too many Muslims in the world, given how many people are allowed in to do Hajj, you can't, you can't really fulfill the fifth pillar any, any longer anyways. And so it's just so obvious to anyone who's not rabidly lost it on this subject that the result is going to be the creation of a Hajj of desire type concept that you may not be able to do Hajj, but as long as you really want to desire to do Hajj and you would do it if you could, that's still fulfilling the fifth pillar. I mean, that's all. It's already where they pretty much are. So this idea of using weapons of mass destruction on on, on other religious sites, um, 